meeting of tonight, September 3rd. All those in the audience, would you please silence your cell phones, please? It could interfere with our audio. Uh, we'll start off with our public hearing. Roll call, please. Schneider. Here. Lammers. Present. Med. Here. Johnson. Here. Tallman here. Ingram. Present. Connell and Hepner are excused. Bran Bransgard. Here. Reinhardt is excused. Manus. Here. We have a quorum, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Commissioner Tallman. First item of business is case number REZ 19-010, request of Larry Reddy, um, Witty, on behalf of KJTLJ LLC to rezone 0.73 acres MOL, a property uh, located at the southeast corner of West Locust Street and Ripley Street from R4C single family and two family uh, Central Residential Zoning District to C2 Corridor Commercial District. Figure I'll just do it from oh. right here if that's Hi, okay. Ryan. Hi. <laughs> I'm not being lazy, I promise. Um, so we do have a request to rezone property to C2. Um, it's a couple maps. Uh, it shows our zoning map. It's currently zoned R4C. Uh, there were several houses that were there that were um, demolished uh, this past year and the hope is to assemble them for some type of unspecified commercial use uh, the land use map uh, designates property as residential Here, general Brian, yes i'm hearing that we can't hear you very well i oh. don't know if <clears throat> much Thank you, Ryan. Commissioners, any questions of staff at this time? Commissioner Lammers? When we look at the zoning going from a, a residential to a C2, which is a little bit more intense without considering a C1, since all those zonings allow commercial use, what, I mean, how do we go forth on without knowing what's gonna be on top, which is a big discussion all the time. Um, how do we justify that leap? Because when I'm reading the zoning, it's already residential. It allows for something um, commercial to that is in keeping with that neighborhood area um, to exist. C1 allows you to do similar, but it takes more into account not only the neighborhood. Um, I, I still I think C1 still focuses on the neighborhood, and I interpret C2 to now focus more away into the residents of the city. Am I wrong in that thinking that we're going neighborhood to neighborhood with some um, um, business use that's a little bit more intense than the residential, but then going to the interests of the city and C2. So I don't know why we're, we're going from resident to C2 all of a sudden. In that small space that's already residential and then the quick shop. I don't, I don't know why that leap and why C1 wasn't considered in this. Thank you. 
Am I wrong in my thinking? So as we move forward, I okay. Thank you, Commissioner Maynes. Ryan, I am wondering if this is the kind of request that we often want to see a specific proposal before we proceed with it. Is that something that has been discussed with the applicant? Yes. Okay. Is, is that reasonable that the, this body might want to see a specific proposal before acting on it? Could there be restrictions on that zoning, or would it be an open C2 that the owner could come forth with any proposal that meets that zoning? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Maynes. Commissioner Lammers. Do we have a representative here of to speak to us tonight? Just for my memory and clarification, typically when we don't have a petitioner here, we don't move on anything until we actually do have somebody here. Do we keep with that consistency or or what? Mr. Chair, I'm going to ask for some guidance there. Well, I don't necessarily have an issue with staff bringing back a recommendation, but I'm damn sure going to tell the petitioner that if he isn't here at the next meeting, then we will table it. And I will make that motion if need be. Any additional questions of staff? Uh, Commissioner Snyder. Just in general, does this fit in with the um, overall plan for like adjacent to the hilltop area? I mean, is this, how does that flow? Any additional questions at this time? Seeing none, thanks, Ryan. Thank Appreciate it. At this time, I will open up the floor to a petitioner's representative, if one is present. Seeing none, would anybody like to speak in favor of this petition? Seeing none, would anybody in the audience like to speak in opposition to this petition? If so, please step to the podium and state your name and address. Thank you. My name is Christy Mauer, Lakeview Former Farmers. I oppose any kind of a C2 rating for this area because of the residential nature surrounding it. <coughs> I think of um, people on Locust Street who have seen their homes encroached on by commercial to where I live, the pedestrian level property line. Mr. Eddy, at the meeting, stated that originally the intent had been for this to be a C1, to get, and he would do commercial on the first floor, uh, rental on the second floor. With his target audience... Ma'am, I can't allow you to speak on behalf of Mr. Witte or what he may or may not have said at the meeting. Okay without him present here. I apologize. <clears throat> I think a uh, rental area is much more in keeping with the neighborhood and would be an asset. Um, it could provide a walk to work for St. Ann Lake employees. It's right up the street from Paul Palmer College, and I think it could be marketed much better that way for the neighborhood than as a heavy commercial. 
Thank you. Would anybody else like to speak in opposition? Sure. Thank you, sir. Any additional comments? Hang on. Commissioner Tallman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Scott, could you just quickly remind us of the boundaries of the district? I guess the, even question. a better question is, is this in the boundary? Which one do you want? How about both? Let's go for both. <laughs> Okay. And yes, yep. this is in the hilltop. Thank you. Thank you. Any additional questions, commissioners? Any additional comments? Mr. Flynn. It's very reasonable to uh, be able to ask him questions. I know with the revised rules of the commission, uh, you can have public dialogue outside of the public hearing, but I would recommend that you uh, ta or you table, you leave the public hearing open and understand the chair correctly, we will convey to Mr. Witte that he, he needs to be at the next meeting to answer, to answer uh, the questions and respond to some of the uh, comments that were here tonight. I appreciate that clarification, Matt, and, and I would entertain a motion at this time. Commissioner Tallman. I would so move based on staff's comments to keep the public hearing open indefinitely or one cycle one cycle one cycle second to the next meeting correct one cycle it's been moved and seconded to keep the public hearing open for one cycle commissioner lammers do you have a question may i clarify that we wouldn't be voting at that on um, having the public hearing and then voting later on that same meeting and we say that if everything would be answered adequately and the commission's ready to move forward that there potentially would be a uh, a, a recommend recommendation vote at that time okay. but if you're following so table it for a cycle okay okay. okay okay i mean that's always an option at that time if all right so i just want to make sure much confusion all right thanks but i think there, there will be a challenge particularly with respect to uh Commissioner Manus's comment about possible conditions. Well, I think it would be uh, it'd be a little challenging, maybe even awkward for staff to have supposedly a nice package at that time. I think we will have some, but I think there's the potential to have that dialogue with the petitioner on what, for example, what maybe normally permitted uses in C2 might not be appropriate in that location if that was the one to go. Thank you, Matt. Commissioner Lammers. One more clarification. Can we just have the public hearing open and keep it clean and then have your recommendation at the next meeting? Which would afford you an opportunity to... I
I think this is going to be a, an <clears throat> important decision. I would like to propose to do that in the absence of the petitioner tonight. I would like to just do the public hearing at our next meeting and we'll delay the vote until the following meeting. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Correct, correct. <clears throat> I agree. Getting back to the original motion that's been moved and seconded, all in favor of said motion signify by aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, this will be kept open for one period, and upon completion of the public hearing, the following session will have our voting meeting. At this time, that would conclude the public hearing. Looking forward to the regular meeting. Roll call, please. Schneider. Present. Lammers. Present. Med. Here. Johnson. Here. Tallman here. Ingram. Present. Connell and Hepner excused. Uh, Bransgard. Present. Reinhardt's excused. And Manus. Here. We have a quorum, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Commissioner Tallman. City Council activity. Anything Nothing to add? more. Uh, secretary's report for some reason it didn't show up on the agenda but we it's in the packet we do have the uh, august 20th uh, 2019 meeting minutes oh well how did it end up there for some reason it ended up there Do I have a motion for the secretary's report? So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor signify by aye. aye. Opposed? Hearing none, it will stay as printed. Report of Comp Plan Committee, Matt. This batch of text amendments will um, be uh, voted on next week, so we'll update the ordinance. Uh, and again, just looking forward at future business that Elmore Corners height uh, adjustment is is moving forward on its own own pace. There'll be a public hearing. We're notifying some uh, potentially impacted property owners. So we're we're separating that from what we are have been proceeding with as kind of administrative, uh, you know, uh, fine fine tuning. So that will be on public hearing for next week, next uh, cycle. Thank you. Any questions or comments, commissioners? Seeing none, we'll move on to zoning and subdivision activity. Appears to be none. In either case, we've got a couple items of future business to look at. Communications, anything anybody would like to talk about? Seeing none, any additional business? Commissioners, any questions, thoughts, none? Uh, all those in favor of adjournment signify by aye. Aye. opposed we are adjourned thank you for your attendance drive home safe thank you <laughs>